Hello everyone, it's Pharmacist Michael. Today I want to follow up on a video I did about a week ago, maybe a week and a half, on statins and whether or not you should take them. Now this video has turned into my most popular video of all time, and so I thought I'd do a follow up on some of the natural supplements you can take to help with your cholesterol if you can't tolerate statins or if you just don't want to take the, the risk. So I'm going to talk about a few of these and I'm also going to put links to these in the description portion of this video just in case you would like to order some and give them a try. So the first one is berberine. We know that berberine has the potential to decrease low density lipoprotein and triglycerides and may also increase high density lipoprotein and that is exactly what we want. Now berberine also has some other things that it can be used for. PCOS, polycystic ovary syndrome is another thing it can help with possibly canker sores, diabetes, high blood pressure are a few things that berberine can be used for. And basically the big side effects that you might find with berberine are the GI side effects. Nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, maybe some flatulence, abdominal pain, those types of things. The next thing I want to talk about is niacin. Believe it or not, niacin is actually FDA approved in doses over 500 milligrams to treat primary hyperlipidemia and mixed dyslipidemia. The, the real secret here though is you have to make sure you get a high enough dose of niacin for it to be effective. And the big side effect I can think of with niacin is facial flushing and itching. I have a multivitamin that has a bunch of niacin in it. It's called Sunshine Multivite. And sometimes when I take it, if I take the two capsules too close together, I get a little bit of a flushing feeling. So I know what that, what that is, right? But niacin is very good for you. It helps your blood vessels expand. It can lower blood pressure because of that. And it just helps blood flow in general. The next thing I want to talk about is garlic. Garlic extract can actually decrease levels of cholesterol in your blood as well. And garlic is good for your heart in general. We think that it may actually help remove some of the plaque from your vessels. And garlic can be used in food, of course, but you can also buy garlic capsules. The next one is flaxseed. Now, I use flaxseed a lot in my smoothies. I add it for the added fiber, but flaxseed is another one of those substances that can help with cholesterol levels. Again, flaxseed is able to decrease low-density lipoprotein and increase high-density lipoprotein. And the last thing I want to talk about is omega-3 fatty acids, fish oil, right? So fish oil is also a supplement. And of course, you can get fish oil by eating fish, which is probably the best way to take it if you eat enough fish. The only thing about this is we find that fish oil may increase both high density lipoprotein and low density lipoprotein. And remember, we want to lower the low density and increase the high density lipoproteins. But we also know that if you eat a modest amount of fish oil, like just by eating fish in general, you can actually decrease triglycerides without affecting LDL or HDL levels. Now remember, I got some comments on my last video about diet. Yes, diet is important. I can't overstress the importance of eating a healthy whole foods diet. If you've watched my videos, you know I'm a big proponent of that. 
But cholesterol is also produced by your liver, and some people produce more than others. So at times, even if you're eating the perfect diet, you may still have high LDL and triglyceride levels, especially LDL levels in your body. So if you don't want to take the statins, try some of these supplements I've just covered. And again, there's links to them all down in my description of this video. If you know somebody who has high cholesterol or just needs to be healthier in general, please send this video to them. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have anything that you would like for me to talk about, please leave a message in the comments section and I'll, I'll start working on that video for you. If you have any questions, you can email me at michael.brown at sunshinentc.com. I appreciate every comment, positive or negative. I want to know what I'm doing well and what I'm not doing well because this channel is for you. I'm Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.